Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I am Daniel the Paladin. You're watching Christian Adventure Gamer. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hopefully you enjoy our content. Today we're going to do an unboxing of Morn Quest by Black Spindle Games. I first seen this game at Gen Con 2018, at least the artwork of it. Uh, and then I seen this game at uh, Gen Con 2019, but was not able to buy it because I don't think it was for sale then. I can't remember. It's been a couple years. But I finally got my hands on it. I'm really enthralled by the uh, lore of this. Uh, but before we dive into this, I want to remind you that we are doing a giveaway for uh, the end of March. Uh, so one lucky subscriber is going to win a copy of <clears throat> Betrayal at House on the Hill. Uh, and so this is <clears throat> a game by Wizards of the Coast. This is the second edition. Uh, all you got to do is be a subscriber and email me at christianadventuregamer at gmail.com. And in the subject line, put Betrayed. Also, you got to enter your... Uh, contact information and it would be helpful too if you included that uh, your username for YouTube uh, that way if I uh, go through and look to make sure that you are a subscriber that'd help me out a lot so uh, let's dive into this and check out what's inside <clears throat> all right so here is the cover art as we can see we have this house that's kind of been taken over by this tree or maybe you can say that the house was built into the tree uh, it's a game of myth and legend and so we flip over to the back side, and we can see that it's based on Mornquest novels by Gary, I'm probably going to uh, butcher this last name, Mikkel Horan. Um, and so I believe it's based on like Scottish lore or Irish lore. Uh, let's see here, it says, Journey to the Morn Mountains, magical realm of myth and legend, as one brave boy and a family of Clericians, hopefully I pronounced that right, Embark upon an epic quest to save the kingdom of Morn. Uh, so, this is what we expect to see in here. So we're going to see some cool looking minis. Uh, looks like a couple of beasties maybe. Uh, this world map here, these are going to be the, I think, towers that we have to go to uh, and defeat the monsters to free the land. So, that helps out better. I did better lighting. So, let's get this open. This is a game by David Brashaw and Leonard Boyd. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go. There. First time opening the box ever. So there is the uh, rule book, and it's not very big, as you can see. So that's kind of neat. So let's look at that. Uh huh. We got a uh, Shimnivore miniature, uh, Nightmare miniatures. Bo bog bean miniatures now level one level two level three miniatures and we have the hero miniatures so it's got different dice there's the chits some of the cards lay out of the land these are the nightmare discs there's some setup i like that artwork it's not the greatest but i think it's for uh this obviously seems more like a kid friendly game in a sense uh it's for ages uh, 14 and up so definitely some adolescence you know, obviously you're fighting nightmares. And I assume that the miniatures are uh, in the form of the artwork. Almost like a chibi kind of style in some, some aspects. And when I think of chibi, I think of bigger eyes. Um, so we'll see. So here is the chip board. So let's kind of pop out something. Oop, that popped out really easy. Oh, that, that, that's good. That out of the way. Oh, that one just popped out. Just trying to get the other one. Whew. So, all right, look at that. It's kind of a mess in there. There is one of the nightmares. Look at that. It's a changeling. Isn't that awesome? All right, so we have one of those other chits that fell out. We got, uh, looks like these are the, the little miniature monsters. We got Speed Wheel, Snipe, uh, Loose Wart. The Banshee! A little thinking Irish lore, maybe. There's another Changeling. Uh, is that uh, Olahan? A Morfolk? Moreau? Uh, Shimnivore? Alright, what have we got here? We got some player boards. Ooh, I like these. I was afraid that they're going to be like cardboard or not cardboard, like stock card. Card stock. Gosh, I can't talk. Uh, let's go ahead and take this cheap little paper off. There we go. 
So there's Beth, supposed to be probably Beth. Uh, life, backpack spaces, courage, strength, magic. Uh, the only sister of the Hawksbeard clan. Uh, that's nice. A little artwork there. And we have Ear. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. Uh, backpack spaces, kill or cure. Maybe a cleric type. Wise beyond his years, ear is a quite clerician. So, clerician, so I think a leprechaun. Clericon, maybe, maybe that's a clericon, maybe that's how you pronounce it, because it's like leprechaun. Um, Tess, Elder Folk, Mist of Confusion, Phineas Brogan, uh, Golden Touch, uh, he looks like he's a goblin or something. North of Ireland, leprechaun clan. Yep, so leprechauns, cobs, that is a clericons, so one for like a, similar to leprechauns or something. Uh, Jock, son of a fisherman, Jock Turner, holds the greatest of secrets. His life is transformed forever when he enters the magical kingdom of Morn. And there's Grace, looks like she's got some kind of potion, and possibly a pet spider. And there's Beth again, so what else we got in here? Uh, not much for an insert, if you ask me. I mean, uh, no need for such a big box if there's not much to put in the box. <laughs> silly, silly. Oh, nice dice bag, though. Uh, too bad there's no embroidery on it. But it's nice enough. Doesn't stink. That's good. I've had some games where the dice bag just reeks. Another token that fell out. Looks like a pot of gold. The uh, Possibly the leprechaun is looking for. <laughs> Alright, uh, there's some cards. Dice. I don't want to get into the cards because usually it takes up too much time, but I will look at some. I like that they put this little pull tab there. I love it when they do that because it makes it so much easier to open the cards. There's only one stack of cards to go through, so that's good. So there's hopefully different card types. Uh, okay, there we go. So there's that and that. Okay, so. Uh, Bandon's Banjo. If defeated by a bog bean, it will ignore any charms you are carrying and instead steal the banjo. Okay. So there's no artwork on it, just words. So I was kind of hoping some artwork would be nice. So there's that. Here's some artwork. Oops. We got Cobb's Hat. So I wonder if these go to a specific character. Because obviously this is Cobb's Backpack. Uh, Book of Elder Folk. Elbler, Elbler folk. That's weird. Uh, Neron's candle. So we got some basic items. Uh, Potent's dagger. Uh, Cobb's fishing pole, because you know Cobb's going to need a fishing pole. Cobb's mat. So I wonder if Cobb is a term for like vagabond or something. Uh, so we got card here. Let's do the same card. Uh, Physical Spider of Ice. So, kind of neat. Here's some uh, other cards with words. The Mist of Memories. Denard Detour. Potluck. So, I like it already. I like Irish lore. Reminds me of the old Disney uh, movie that was about a leprechaun that helped an old man. Uh, had a banshee in it and everything. So, I can't remember the name of it. I have to go through my uh, Disney Plus account to figure out what it is. All right, so I got to save. All right, so let's look at these miniatures. Ooh, I, I think that's kind of neat. I like that. Easy to paint. I like that one. I like the uh, style of the miniatures. That, that's neat. Good detail. Bent sword. Because he got a wrench. Looks like a witch. Stand on ice. Also a spider weather. Well, there it is. It's attached to her. So that'd be kind of fun to paint. So that's, there's a bunch of bags here for all the chits, so that's going to be fun. 
Um, there's going to be a lot more space than needed. So I wonder if there's anything underneath this insert of destruction. Maybe, maybe not. I can get it out. I like when there's promo items hidden. It makes me feel like I'm a kid and I'm getting to the end of the cereal box, you know what I mean? I've seen those in a long time. Like prizes in cereal boxes, I've seen cereal all the time. But nothing in there. I'm just, I think I'm just going to... There's no real need for that, so I'm going to go that way because there's no artwork or nothing on it. Ah. And these have some interesting bases. So these must be the nightmares. Ooh, that's cool. Good detail. Lizard thing, whatever it is, is like a half lizard, half bush maybe. It's definitely top heavy. So I may actually glue it to a base to give it some more stability. Uh, that merfolk thing, that top heavy. No, oh, yeah, that guy sure is. Uh, this thing here. Looks like it's a baby. Of some sort. Like, so that's supposed to be a rattle. I see some blocks down here. Looks like it's wearing a bonnet. It's got a titty bear. It's kind of, that's definitely a nightmare. And this headless guy here. I think he'd be fun to paint. And the banshee coming out of the gravestone. It's definitely screaming at you. I don't know if you can see. There you go. It's pointing and screaming. Ah! Imagine the banshee screaming. There's these. So this one has no base. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like a zombie creature thing. Almost like a gorilla or something. Let me zoom in better. There we go. a goblin or something or a leprechaun or something. It's got a shillelagh. There's another one's got a shillelagh. Another one's got a shillelagh. Uh, this one's definitely got like a shillelagh, uh, almost like a cane. It's holding something in his hand. Another one of those. So there's multiples of those. So there's like those gorilla zombie looking things. Some more of those. Walking Shelley Lee. Another one. So let's look at the uh, map tiles. So they're puzzle pieces, it looks like. So. So they connect like so. So let's go ahead and set right. this up. So. Ooh, it's all bent up. That's not good. Came that way. That's unfortunate. Oh, so I'm assuming that there's a specific way it needs to go together. North, south, east, and west. So there's south. That's got to be north, east. And we have this here. And we have this here. That's all bent up, so I need to bend it back. Or if anyone else has had that problem with this game, the pieces being all bent. So there's that. Then we take the nightmare tiles. Or they just get mixed up and put them anywhere. So Here, this board's all bent up too, so this did not take a very good ride over here. We have the Banshee. There's the four nightmares. So I'm not sure what this is here, but it looks like you can travel these routes. 
there's like a root here, like a path. I'll zoom in on the map better. As you can see, you can see the roots, the roads, different ways to travel. There's the banshee. Places to stop in between, it looks like. And so the one thing I'm not happy about is like how it came in the box, but hopefully if you get a copy it doesn't come that way. Mine's all bent up. So I may lay some heavy things on it to flatten it out. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Yeah.